Hey mate, and welcome to Old Mate Adventures. Hi, I'm Kel. And I'm Jed. In 2021, we quit the grind, sold everything and hit the road for a semi-retirement life. Follow us as we trek, camp and hunt our way around Australia and beyond. Today we're heading to Louth Bay. Uh, it's literally only just down the road from Tumby Bay. Uh, we did a couple of nights or three nights in the caravan park there. Um, yeah, it was not too bad. We uh, got peppered with wind and weather again. Um, uh, got out a couple of times in the boat, but um, yeah, not much success there. So anyway, we're still trekking south towards Port Lincoln and we're going to stop in at Louth Bay on the way, check that out for a couple of nights. It's just like a little council sort of community campsite on the beach there. And um, I think it was, what, 20 bucks a night? 10. 10 bucks a night. And then after that, we head down towards um, past Port Lincoln into the National Park. And we got four nights at um, Fisherman's Cove, I think it's called. Fisherman's Point. Fisherman's Point. Yeah. That's what's happening. Check out Louth Bay. And then on to Fisherman's Cove. Point. Point. <laughs> Bay. <laughs> Town. <laughs> Good. Oh. That's it. You may just turn it off for that. Yep. Uh, this morning I've um, almost ready at a stage to put um, epoxy on the thread but I've got to apply the decal which is just a water slide decal uh, I printed them prior before I um, started traveling uh, I've never got one perfect they are fucking pain in the ass so you dip it in water for like 10 seconds and then um, apply it and the paper sort of peels back and you print it sort of back to front so yeah we'll see if it works I've got a couple to try just in case this one doesn't work you literally dip it in some water Old mate started up the whip snipper right on cue, which is awesome. Anyway, I'll give that a bit of time to dry and then um, give it one last uh, once over and have a look at everything. And then um, hopefully, old mate is fucked off with the fucking whip snipper. Just gonna mix up some uh, epoxy. Oh, that's a bummer. Not allowed any campfires on the jetty. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've come down to the uh, jetty at Louth Bay. Uh, just for an Arvo squid jig. See what's going on. Uh, there's no one else down here, which is um, good. 
I've just got a couple of rigs just with um, just with floats and about a meter and a half of line and then a squid jig because uh, it's windy and fairly choppy should just be able to cast them out and um, they'll do their own thing blob up and down in the water and hopefully um, attract a squid or two would be unreal haven't caught anything off the jetties yet in uh, South Australia so um, see how we go Kel's just gone back to get me a jacket because it's um it's quite nippy anyway there's a lot of squid ink on the jetty which is a good sign gonna try the uh, white jig see how that goes been through a few battles stolen Kel's favorite squid jig it's just a orange I think it's a Daiwa three and a half weight give that a crack One to the left, two to the right. What's your technique? One right. All to the right. All right. Yeah. Is that what you reckon? Yeah. And up. Diagonal. Not 45. Kind of 50. <laughs> 50 that way. Uh -huh. So up a little bit. Zero. Nah, well, is that 90? That's zero. Zero. Why is that zero? 90. Why isn't that zero and that's 90? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I'll try your technique. Been through the wars, this squid jig. Yamashita. What's time rolling? 7.30. 7.30. Just one squid. You're not doing your 45 out that way. Yeah, 450. I'm hey? I'm over it. <laughs> It'd be so good if you get one right now. That would be good, eh? This is how you do it. The most casual looking squid fisher <laughs> ever. <laughs> Enjoying the sunset. Yep. Oh, no squid. Uh, we know they're there. Old fella at the end of the jetty, he got one. So um, uh, they're not uh, they're not there in great numbers anyway. There was a lot of casts for a lot of nothing, a lot of jigging. Mm. I need a whiskey. Oh. Are we allowed to? No. Oh no whiskey. Um, all right, port. <laughs> port. Warm me, warm me cockles up. Uh, that's the second coat on the uh, Hezer Slayer rod that I'm building. It's a um, seven foot uh, rain shadow blank that um, a fella over east gets him in from the States. So yeah, six to 12 pound. We'll, um, we'll see how it goes. I bought a few of these blanks, but this is the first one of this size and I want to just test it out and see how it goes. So pretty keen to get it finished ASAP. So. Um, so Kelly can test it out with all the fish she catches. A bit of weight gets added with the anodized reel seat because that's solid aluminium. So it does add a little bit of weight to the end. Uh, unlike the sort of the hard plastic Fuji um, reel seats, they tend to keep the rod fairly light overall. And if you go like a split grip, it's even lighter again. I started to go down the split grip scenario with the first few of my rods, but um, 
I still like the solid uh, rear grip. Still just a bit more comfort and yeah, I don't know, it's just me, my personal preference. But um, yeah, I'll hopefully do another coat on this this afternoon and we'll see how we go. The weather isn't gonna get too crazy today and not too hot in here, which will be um, ideal for this. Anyway, I'm just gonna close up a couple of windows and um, let that do its thing. Uh, today we're just gonna probably chill, might go down for a drive on the beach, uh, the Savo, and have a bit of a look, maybe a flick into the, um, into the bay there. Uh, we tried last night for some squid and um, nothing. So um, yeah, might give that another crack to Savo. We'll see what happens. Uh, we've got a bit of work to do, bits and pieces. Um, upload an episode. I've got some fishing rigs I've got to make because I've been getting smashed um, lately with them, which is awesome. But um, yeah, I've virtually run out of stock. So I'm trying to make up whatever I've got left at the moment um, until the postman delivers more stuff. Anyway, just make a couple of blend 43s. And, um, and yeah, that's what's happening today. A bit of rod building, a bit of rig making, bit of editing uh, and then tomorrow we go through Port Lincoln and um, and then get to into the National Park and um, got four nights in this little bay which hopefully will be good weather's supposed to be okay and uh, we'll get the boat out for sure I've only got six k's of dirt road to Fisherman's Point, so um, but yeah, I've heard the road is a bit how you going just for corrugations. So yeah, anyway, um, thought I'd let down the tires just do the riding. Not often. Not often that you don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Not often. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say. not fill the canopy up with dust. Oh, she's falling in. Oh man, already at me. Yeah, 25, 25, 24, 24, sweet.
well we have arrived at um, Fisherman's Point and uh, just putting the boat together at the moment and uh, I've got to get a few bits out of the back of the ute chuck it all together get it all set up and then uh, get some and then get some rods uh, sorted and it's two o'clock now so I'm gonna go suss out how to launch the boat which is just around the corner in the beach I'm hoping um, it doesn't say you can't boat launch there, but um, we'll see how we go. Uh, I'll go have a look anyway. Anyway, we'll sort this boat out and uh, go for a bit of an explore. Hopefully we can launch. And then I'll know what I'm in for for the next couple of days launching and retrieving and stuff. Yeah, I just remembered I haven't really got much bait, so it'd be ultimate to get a couple of squid. Um, that would top me up bait-wise. I've got some store-bought squid I've had in there for ages, but um, yeah, it never does too well on that. I've launched at um at uh, Fisherman's Point. I haven't gone far. Literally gone around the corner and our caravan is parked just over there. Uh, there's a couple of sandy holes just in front of me. We're only in like three meters of water. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a um, putt around from here. A couple of fellas at the, um, the site there said there hasn't been much action. But um, yeah, we'll give it a crack. I'll um, just have a crack here for a couple of hours, see if there's anything around. Uh, and if not, I'll just uh, move around. I'll find somewhere to chuck the anchor. And uh, you never know, there might be a sneaky whiting just um, hanging around. Looks pretty nice. The bait I'm using is just um, cockles. Uh, I bought them back at Smokey, they work pretty good. And then I, um, I just crush up the shells as well and chuck them over for Burley. Drop it into the sand over there. I know, what have we got? Ah, uh, little goatfish, holy shit. There you go, mate. Uh, yep, uh, bugger all here. Uh, a few herring hanging around, so that's good to know if I get um, desperate. But uh, no, nah, very quiet. Uh, about half an hour here, so I'm just going to pull anchor and move. Alright, sandy hole number two. Uh, I'll go up the end of it. It's a bit of a line. You never know. Uh, a bit of rock and stuff. Let's see how they go. Well, I'm not really on the spot, am I? Drifted off a little bit. Uh, super weedy, so it could be even worth a squid. Yeah, I think it's a bit rocky and everything. You want to kind of get ground that's rocky, sandy, gravelly shit. They love that. Uh, not even a nibble. Oh well, I'll um, find somewhere else. I have got the squid jig rig sort of set up, so I might, um, I might actually pull anchor. 
uh, go out a little bit deeper and drift across this weed bed. Just drift, drift all the way back. Uh, camp is just on the edge there. So, um, yeah, I'll give that a go. I'll drift all that line, go right across to the end, see what happens, and, and then reassess when I get sort of to the rocky point. This sucker out there. And the old hand line, we're gonna chuck that. Oh yeah, he's got Whitey. Whitey's always good. Go Yamashita. Love that one. Something zigzagging on the sounder. Hopefully, that is a squid. Woohoo! Come on! Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Kill's orange one. Came through. How good is that? He uh, hit it once, came back and um, gave it a crack. Yeah, that's bloody awesome. If we can get two, that's dinner. Uh, probably tomorrow night. Woohoo! So good. Anyway, I dong him on the head. It's all over. Sweet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'd almost given up hope. I'll chuck him on some ice. Kel cleaned out the uh, fridge before, it almost um, iced right up, and so I've got all that in there, saved it all. On the board, on the board. Yes! It's funny how um, just one, one squid will um, brighten the mood. Uh, yeah, had a couple more drifts and um, nothing. I might switch over to Heather Slayer lures and, um, and just go for a trawl along the shallows here. Worst case scenario, might pick up a couple of herring. Ah, not, not worst case scenario, it's um, not too bad, but there's no King George Whiting, which I was hoping for. Yeah, anyway, can't complain with um, one squid on board. One squid is better than, better than none. All right, I've got the um, Heza Slayers on and got chrome on that one and gold on that one. Um, see how we go. Oh, I'm actually on. Ha! Huh. I thought I'd hooked up my weed. Got a Heza on. Straight up. He's coming in. <laughs> Yeah, beauty. Oh, yep. Hey. Small herring. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Hey, he's off. Yeah, beauty. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to keep a few because I want to get the smoker going in the next couple of days. And, um,. We've been eating all the herring that we have uh, been catching, so um, I'll keep a few and uh, I'll smoke them up. Give them a crack, come on. Oh, there we go. They're only small. Oh, and he's off. Ha.
double hook up, I think. Oh, your beer went over, shit. Little Hazza, let him go. We'll just fill it up the hezzers. Only got five. They weren't very big, but um, that'll be perfect for the smoker.